Hey everybody, Ann here, sitting on my porch, finishing up my coffee, it's over there. Um, we're going to have a really bad storm coming through, so I need to do some things. I'm going to keep the chickens in the yard, but to keep the chickens in the yard, I have to do some things. And to keep the dogs in the yard, I have to do some things too. Papa got up on top of this ice chest and he jumped out. <laughs> I knew it was only a matter of time before they figured it out, so I put one row of chicken wire up. I need to get another one up because I'm pretty sure he'll still be able to get up and pull this down. Um, so I need another piece up here. <laughs> yeah, hopefully it'll hold him. I was able to get the entire yard covered <laughs> in this terrible stuff. Um, I was able to get up some posts. Look at that. I got up three posts, actually a couple more than three posts, um, using that method with the post pounder thing. Um, I didn't feel me doing it just because I knew I needed to get it done pretty quick. Um, but I got them up. There's a couple I still can't get out and I think it's just because of the shape of the land. I can't get the thing positioned properly. But all of the chickens are inside the yard. So hopefully this will hold them. <laughs> it's not a forever thing but um, I've got to get some more fencing, some, some better fencing. This post right here gave me trouble and it's because it goes down into a depression and the the post pounder digs in. I also couldn't get this one out and this one out but I'm going to try again and I'm pretty sure if I keep trying I'm going to be able to get them out. I took that fencing that was wrapped around here <laughs> enclosing this yard and I just turned it the other way and it's in front of this right now. It needs to be secured a little bit better and I need another post like right here um, but this just kind of fortifies this start, uh, this part of the chicken run um, just to keep them in. It stops right here so I mean I just got some extra chicken wire there um, but what I need is I need some more to go all the way and I'm not gonna do this <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bring it out to like right here uh, drive in a couple more posts um, but I need a few more feet of that. This will hold them for now, but it's not very sturdy, that's for sure. Woo! Look at those tree tops. Yep. The good thing is, is it's not as windy down here on the ground as it is up there. I mean, it's barely even blowing my hair right now. But up in the trees, yeah, there's multiple trees that could potentially <laughs> come down, but I don't think they will. I have every confidence that they're going just fine. Oh, goodness. I'm going to forage for my chickens a little bit here because I'm not letting them out to forage on their own. I'm just picking up a variety of different kinds of greens. They love this clover. Oh, yes, they do. I love it too. <laughs> but today, it's all about the chickens. <clears throat> oh my gosh. The wind has been coming up. Just kind of gusting here and there. Pretty little purple flowers. Are these violas? I don't know. I don't know if the chickens like to eat them or not. So I'll just get some more clover. I think that's enough for now. I'm going to dump it in there in various spots and let them have a little bite to eat. I'm just scattering around different places because I know that the chickens will chase the beautiful Miss Scarlet away. <laughs> I don't know if you can see her. She's so pretty. Thank goodness she's getting her feathers back. You're welcome, Ginger. <laughs> Get yourself some grubs, ladies. Roxy and Coco. You're welcome. Look at Romeo and Patsy. Look at, she's got some weird stuff going on with her comb. I don't know if that's, I don't know. Maybe she's been pecked too hard by this guy because they roost right next to each other. I think they're in love. I don't know. I think I'm going to have a tree or two down. Yep. 
hopefully now I'll fall on the tiny house. Man, they're whipping around. But it doesn't feel that bad down here on the ground. Roxy, she's, she's kind of rising in the ranks a little bit. That's why I scatter their food. Otherwise, some of them would not let the others eat. So far today, today's storm has turned out to be a big nothing burger, except for the wind. So I just kind of redid my little fire pit. Yep, I need more bricks. I need lots more bricks, but uh, it'll work for now. And I planted some more seeds. Eggplant. These are different. These are little tiny baby ones. I'll put a photo of what they look like up there on the screen. I love eggplant and I think I had one or two eggplant last year. But um, these are supposed to produce a ton of little tiny baby ones which would be great. So hopefully I'll get them to grow. So far just lots of wind and it's starting to rain. It's like 4.30. Um, I went to go check for eggs, but one of the hens was sitting on one of the nests, so I'll have to go out and do that later, probably in the rain. But I gotta tell you, I kinda like having the chickens close to home, confined, I mean, for my comfort. <laughs> not, not, I know they don't like it, they would rather be out roaming about, but I don't know, if I can shore up these chicken yards, I may very well keep them in their yards, because... The last thing I want them to do is, you know, get up on other people's property and cause a ruckus, you know, just like the dogs. I don't want them to cause a ruckus either. Um, and, you know what, I can always forage for them. Forage. Forage. <laughs> um, the only thing is they're not getting as many bug opportunities. And I love for them to be out eating the bugs, the ticks, and the other nasty stuff that's out there. But... I can always, uh, not necessarily ticks, but worms. I can find them worms. Um, I may start another worm bin. Who knows? Um, I would love to start farming black soldier fly larvae. Yeah, that would be so awesome. And I don't think it's that hard to do, so I think I'm going to look into that. Anyhow, um, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to go inside, so I'll catch you later. Yep, it's starting to come down pretty hard now. Luckily, even though it's like two hours too early, I was able to get all of the chickens up into the van coop. So they're all safe, tucked in for the night. They've got plenty of food, plenty of water. So let's just hope that, uh, well, that it doesn't get any worse. Okay, the wind picked up there for a minute. So I was cooking something. I've turned off the propane completely at the stove and at the tank. And that's the last thing I need is that going. It's already starting to calm down. I keep saying that. I'm actually kind of scared, but I think we're fine. I think it's almost over. Okay, it's not almost over. I don't know if I should close these windows. I don't know. Things are hitting the top of the roof. Let me go over here. I don't know what's hitting the roof. Solar panels are down. Oh Lord. Oh my gosh, I just want this to be over with. Over with now. I'm like a sitting duck. Okay, the tornado warning is gone. Um, it's still raining pretty hard, but there's no wind, so. I keep saying that and I keep hearing that sound. I'm going to go finish making my dinner. I think we're fine. I've just made kind of like a beef stew with canned uh, roast beef, some macaroni, and some dehydrated veggies, and some seasonings. And I think it's going to be delicious. I'm just going to let it cool off for a little bit. And that's it. I think the storm has passed us. I can take a deep breath, enjoy my dinner, and that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video! Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.